Those are some small bits. Let's not lose them. Okay, so we've got radiator guard. If I had to guess, it's gonna be oriented that way. Let's see, what do the directions say? Cut the foam and stick it on the radiator guard's edge. What? All right, we're gonna we're we're just gonna leave that for now and see what the heck else. Remove stock bolts and nuts circled locations as pictured above. Okay. It looks like there's four bolts. One bolt. Two bolt behind the horn. Jesus. Three bolt. I can't even see it, but it's down here somewhere. Three bolt. Four bolt. Those are actually the nuts. So actually, good lord, I'm gonna want to run inside and grab my ratchets. Oh, I'm gonna want to go inside grab my, whew, my uh, whatever the hell these are, ratchet wrenches. Okay, if I had to guess, it's either a ten or an eight. <laughs> I think it's an eight. I don't think it's a ten. I think that's really, 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 really small. It's an eight. What about them top ones? There's an eight. Wait. 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 That down there is not an eight. That's a ten. Is it? Oh god, if it's a nine. Help me if it's a nine. Oh, it's a ten. You know what that means? I didn't need the second eight. I'll put the first four further things with my phone, or it's just the first things with my mouth. I was saying, I don't need the other eight, because I could have just taken the other one and stuck it in my mouth. Ha 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 ha. Woohoo! Doing this blind here. Oh, can you not see what I'm doing? Can you not see what I'm doing? Is that loose enough to get it by hand? It is. Thank goodness, because I could not tell what I was doing anymore. And I know that's an eight. So this ten has served its purpose for now. The eight. Ha. These two bolts, I'll set there so they're safe. Don't you frickin' move. I am loosening this, right? That is set to tight. I was, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's right, I forgot, I'm an idiot. Why did that switch? You, you who, need to only go this way. I really never thought I would use a freaking eight millimeter for anything. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna pick these up. Before I even do anything, I'm gonna put them over here. Move those over, stay. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm shaking hands with that that one guy from Scary Movie, the lit, the baby hand. Oh jeez, that is not really holding on, is it? Oh crap! <laughs> and there's supposed to be a spacer. It's right there. Holy crap. All right. Eh. Reached in blind, but there we go. That was supposed to come with the last bolt and didn't. Interesting. Interesting, except for the fact that it's not. It's worrying. It's concerning. I hate it. All right. Cut foam. Remove stock bolts. 
install radiator guard using the M6 bolts at the top locations. Right, first, let me see what they mean about attach foam to the sides. What do they mean attach foam to the sides or to the edge? To be honest, I don't know how much of the edge it's gonna go around. I just know it says cut the foam to go along the edge. There, so we've got that looking awful. And I looked and it's definitely going behind this plastic cover right here. Yeah, I don't like the fact that that foam is touching the radiator now. I do not like that. That makes me feel extremely uneasy. We're going to go ahead and slide these plastic covers off, which I'm just now realizing you can do just by applying pressure. I thought these were held in place by something. No, you can just grab them and pull. What an idiot. I'm not gonna lie, looking at it, I don't think I'm supposed to put any foam on the sides. Looking at it, I don't think I'm supposed to put any. Because that's coming directly in contact with the radiator itself. I am running low on daylight. We gotta wrap this up. These little bolts. Okay. I believe these spacers will go on the bottom, but for now, I'll just take care of these bolts, which are going to be tricky, admittedly, but I can finger thread them at first. Okay. Again, I don't know if the camera is picking that up at all, but here we go. Get that all the way through. We're going to line that up. Good and start finger tightening it. Okay, that bolt is at least lined up. Let's repeat the process for the other side and then we'll worry about gapping and spacing and all that. Okay, that's in. That right there could not be more in the way. I'm just fortunate this is going in mostly on its own. Well, okay, foam is not in contact with any of the fins now. That's in, you'll love to see it. Got that little space cushion there. All right, let's see now. If I had to guess, those are either a five or a four mil. We're gonna guess a four. Yep, and I have just enough space to finagle this. Not much, but just enough. I'm thinking those spacers were for the top now that I'm twisting this. Whoops, I had incorrectly believed that those spacers were for the bottom. Oh, let me double check. So, let's see now. If I grab that and pull, like really pull, there we go. Whew. All right, if any of you try 
anybody watching this ever tries to do this part, if that starts backing out with it, just grab hold and pull with like just a middle finger. I'll put enough torque on it or enough resistance that you can get this bolt free again. Whew. All right. So if I remember from that diagram, which I do, that's not where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be between these two. It's supposed to get sandwiched between there. Oh good, that makes it even more difficult to line up, thanks to the horn. All right, let's repeat this process on the other side before I over tighten it. Boy, howdy, I was running out of daylight. All right, that's enough. I don't need to get tightened too much. I'm gonna tuck that in. Oh, you'll love to see that. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. I can feel it. Now we're just gonna reuse those stock bolts. Whew. Which is tens. These tens. Let me pocket that. Right hand pocket. Not gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but Trust me when I say is that one. That's tight enough. That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. Let me find a seat. Okay. <laughs> All right, that ain't going nowhere. Okay, so how the hell is this gonna go back on? It looks like all I do is line that puppy up and push it forward. I don't think there's an up and down. All right, feel it grabbing. And that ain't wanting to move. So we're gonna call that installed. Take a good hard look. This one has cut out here, so I know that's the top. So again, should just be able to uh, shove it forward, making sure I'm clear on each side for the radiator guard. But I ought to be able to just uh, fold that in and shove it forward. And that feels more secure. That feels much more secure. All right, so the install is done. We've got the radiator guard, frame sliders, exhaust slider. All that's left now is the part I've been dreading, but I'm gonna need some towels. I'm gonna need to clean this mess up. All right, so before we do this, I'm gonna say, T-Rex Racing, if any of you are watching this, I loved when you did this for the Rebel and demonstrated on its side how much the engine guards protect the bike. I wanna see you do the same thing with these frame sliders on a fart pillin because I don't know how much it protects. I'm putting my own bike on the line here to see exactly how much this is gonna protect my bike if it, I ever go down my side. So, I mean, here we go. All right. Jesus, that does not look good. I don't want it. I'm going to pick that up in a second, but there's your clearance underneath. You can see the frame slider. 
is bare. I mean, it's dark. I'll try to brighten this up in post, but that frame slider is protecting that. I'm gonna want something to protect the clutch lever. Um, oh, maybe get something for the front there. Back seems to be mostly lifted up. All right. Oh God, I do not like. Oh yeah, that exhaust slider. That exhaust slider does its job well. Even does a good, pretty good job protecting the brake lever and the exhaust. Of course, the frame slider does its job, but that's enough of that. I've had enough putting my bike on, on the ground. She don't deserve that. She's a good girl. So there we have it. Svart Pillin 401, exhaust slider, frame sliders, and engine guard. All from T-Rex Racing. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. I hope this shows you how easy and or hard this is. I don't know your skill level, but I'm gonna put the bar ends on, put the mirrors on, and I'm going for a little, little evening ride while the weather's warm. See ya. Cut the foam and stick it on the edge. Huh? What do you mean? Cut the foam and stick it on the edge. Cut the foam and stick it on the edge.